my fellow Americans, tis I the Rumple One. Did you sign up for your Obamacare by the deadline? Now it's the law. But it made me think. Obamacare. What a dismal failure. And they keep trying to report numbers that aren't true so the public will think that it's working when we all know it doesn't. But what's really interesting is if you compare and contrast Obamacare and Obama to Lee Iacocca. Remember Lee, if you're old enough to remember Lee Iacocca and Chrysler? Got it out of bankruptcy? Turned it around, borrowed some money from the government, paid it back? Now, Iacocca, a lot of people thought he was a hero, but I guess if you really got to know him, he was, a, he was a basically a bastard. But he was a smart one. And one thing that I have to admire him for was he ordered a car. And he went to the factory to pick it up as it rolled off the assembly line. Well, everybody knew that this particular car was for Mr. Iacocca. So they made sure everything was perfect. Well, when it rolled off, he goes, no, I don't want that one. I want the next one. Well, the next one was a piece of junk. His stuff was falling off of it. Things didn't fit properly. Well, Mr. Iacocca ripped that plant a new one. He goes, I want every car as nice as the one you made for me. Every one. And the rest is history. But with Obamacare, he, he's not going to have that kind of legacy. He's going to have a legacy of a bumbling fool, an idiot, who, whose major flagship program just was a wreck. But then again, who knows? Maybe all the uh, reports of Obamacare get changed in the future, just like in Orwell's 1984. It was a great success. It rolled out perfectly. There weren't any problems. And don't think it won't happen. If you don't believe me, if you're old enough to remember the 60s or the 70s, go get a current high school year um, history book that, re that talks about the 60s and 70s and see how they report it. It's really sad. And I guess on that note, I'll combine maybe two video topics into one here. We graduated over 80% of high school students, the highest in the history of this country. But the problem is, is the standards are so low, almost anybody can graduate. I mean, it's ridiculous. Have you been in a fast food place lately? Or a convenience store? You hand them a 20 and your bill came to $1.38. Do they actually count your change back or do they just hand it to you? You want to really confuse them. Say it came to... Uh, $1.76. You know, give them 26 cents. Give them $20.26. You know, watch what they do. It's funny. It's like if, if they can't punch it in and the machine tell them, they can't even count it. I mean, it's sad. It's pathetic. It really is. Common Core? Are you kidding me? The dumbing down of America. They, the high school kids today couldn't, use, couldn't read a 6th grade McGuffrey reader from back in the day. I guess when my parents went to school. Maybe even before them. What has happened to this country and the education? I mean, now high school diploma gets you a job. Maybe it'll get you a job at McDonald's, Burger King. Not guaranteed. It's sad. It really is. I mean, when you think all the technology, all the ways we know how the brain works and we know how to teach people, we know how the brain thinks, we know how to teach people to think. Not what to think, but how to think. Big difference. But that's not what's going on in schools. And you know, not everybody is, is destined to sit behind a desk and wear a suit and, 
and use a pencil or a computer. Some people work with their hands. Some people work outside. But do you still have high school shop class? Mechanics? I mean, art and music have been gutted in some schools. All for what? Latin American studies? I mean, come on. Give me a break. This is America. My fellow Americans, I make these videos to communicate my thoughts and you echo them back many times. Why is it if so many of us are on the same wavelength that things are such a mess? What what are we doing? What are what aren't we doing right? What are we doing wrong? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, these people running the local school districts, I mean, do the parents, have the parents given up? I think that's a big part of the problem. And of course we have teacher unions where they get paid for tenure rather than for, you know, how well they teach. You know, if, try and fire some union worker that works for government. It's nearly impossible. And then, of course, their jobs. Oh, that's not my job. That's this person's job. It's all about, you know, getting away, getting the most on the paycheck and doing the least amount of work. Now, some people, they go to work at the schools, teachers, hard work, and they put in a, you know, good days, work for an honest day's pay. Can't say they're all like that, but it's just that there's enough of them that have gummed up the system, and the system protects these people. We've got to change the system. We've got to. And it, it comes back to self-responsibility. You know, first we got to make sure that we're doing all we can at our home front, and then you take it to the community level. So if you've got kids, you know, get on them. You know, put their nose in the books. Make them bring home A's and B's. Bring home a C. You don't see the light of day till next report card. That's the way I was raised. You saw how I turned out, right? Maybe you better not to raise them that way. But anyway, the point is, is that Obamacare, the legacy, it's a failure. You know, like I said, Iacoga... From some accounts was a bastard, but when it came to, you know, building cars that were right, well, he took action. I mean, Obama, I mean, he should have sat down at a, com at a computer terminal and, no, no, not this one. Let's just go down the street, you know, to, and sign on and see if it works. I mean, he's supposed to be this smart guy, Harvard, right? Can't even figure it out. Oh, he just delegated it. He's got his name, Obamacare. Well, Affordable Health Care Act. But everybody calls it Obamacare. Democrats, Republicans, man in the street. We all know it's Obamacare. You put your name on it, you should make sure it's good, something you should be proud of. But to think, that's going to follow him through history. And look what he's done to himself. Some, some legacy, Obama. And dumbing down of the kids, the high school kids, 80% graduating. How many can read at a sixth grade level? That's the real question. Not too many. My fellow Americans, once again, it is time to wake up and smell the tyranny.